Mobile fallbacks maximizes the likelihood of filling an impression opportunity. Ad manager determines the eligibility of ads served through your line items and ranks them accordingly, returns a slate of ads rather than just one. To start activating mobile fallbacks on your Google Ad Manager 360, go to Admin Global Settings. Go to Video and Mobile Settings and turn on Mobile Fallback Ads. The way it works is the same as the video fallback. So if, for example, there was an ad request and you have multiple line items targeting your ad unit, the rewarded or interstitial ad for your mobile app, for example, and all these line items will be ranked by Google Ad Manager. If they are on price priority or ad exchange running on dynamic allocation, they will be ranked from top to lowest or highest to lowest CPM bids or CPM rate. Now, if, for example, the first line item failed to deliver or serve a creative, then Ad Manager will try to fall back to the next line item in line. And if this one fails as well, it will keep falling back to the next one until a line item is able to successfully deliver a creative. And this line item is the one that will serve the ad on the publisher's website or mobile app. Part of the requirements and limitations is that only Google Mobile Apps SDK requests for rewarded ads or interstitial formats will trigger a fallback. And yes, it does require Google Mobile Ads SDK for it to work. Also, Fallback considers dynamic allocation ads and programmatic guaranteed for competition only in the first spot of the fallback chain. To learn more about how to set up or implement Google Ad Manager on a mobile app, go ahead and visit pubguruuniversity.com. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.